Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning. My name is Nur Shaida Samsudin. On behalf of my team, I would like to present to you our research project entitled Innovation on Grain for Increased Safety in High-Rise Building Construction for International Conference on Sustainable Social Science, Innovation and Technology 2021. This project led by T.S. Muhammad Reza Rosman, other members including T.S. Muhammad Naim, T.S. Nur Shaida Samsudin, Dr. Nur Asma Hafiza and Puan Rafiza Muhammad Nordin. The outline of this presentation are background, aim and objective, literature review, method and discussion, proposed innovation, conclusion and preferences. Bebo 2009 said that construction is one of the industries that contribute to the development of a nation's countries compete to construct buildings either to be the largest, the tallest or even both. Many innovations in the construction industry have been carried out to achieve this. An example of an innovation is the crane, where it helps builders to complete the construction of high-rise building up to almost 1,000 meters in height. However, according to H2008, some issues and problems still occur, which is one of them are safety. Safety is an important aspect that must not be overlooked in any construction works. Construction contributes to development in general and also in its economy. Construction provides buildings and infrastructure. Construction activity also provides employment to the people, the local or foreign. With rapid development occurring throughout the country, land space is decreasing, which resulting with the rapid growth of high-rise building construction. Construction of high-rise building is becoming a trend, especially in states and countries where land is limited. High-rise buildings are those buildings which are beyond 75 meters in height, according to Jankoskaya. At all 2018, most of high-rise buildings, including residentials and office buildings, consist of similar floor plan from one to another level. With the same or similar layout of floor plan between each floor of the building, repetitive building component which usually utilize. This is where the industrial building system, known as IBS method of construction, comes in. The building components, including wall panels, door, window units, and floor slabs, are mass produced in the fabrication yard before being transported to the construction site for assembly. IBS need high income capital costs due to the needs of plants for fabrications, but save lots of time and reduce tremendous waste during the assembly of the components on site. This also reduces the dependency on general labor to construct the building elements from scratch. Indirectly, this has reduced the problems of substandard quality of ownership and in the long run, prolongs the lifespans of the buildings. Unfortunately, it was found that the numbers of accidents leading to fatalities, permanent disabilities and severe injuries were fluctuating between years for projects involving cranes in Malaysia. Between the year 2009 and 2015, the highest number of incidents happened was in 2015 where there were 138 temporary disabilities, 11 permanent disabilities and 88 Fatal cases in the construction se sector reported six fatality and two injuries cases involving queens. There are two methods used for this research. The first one is questionnaire survey. Questionnaire survey were carried out onto construction workers of various levels in construction site around Malaysia to support the findings and provide an insight on the construction activities happening on site, especially when involving high rise building construction in queens. A total of 27 respondents, including 25 contractors, one supplier and one manufacturer, successfully completed and returned the questionnaire survey via Google Form platform. Based on the response gathered, the majority of them were involved in construction projects involving cranes, and they do think that the cranes can be improved in order to increase the level of safety on site. Working forward from this, improvement for the cranes were explored. The second method is a test study. A test study will carry out to study the potential innovation towards the cranes by trying to minimize the problems highlighted earlier. Before finding out how and what to improve, the existing problem involving cranes were identified. According to Abdul Hamid et al., human error contributed to 25% of the accidents involving cranes in construction site in Malaysia between years 2009 to 2016. Mohamed Zaini et al. explained that it was understood one of the problems involving crane is to do with inadequate supervision and weak communications. This is due to the physical nature of the cranes being so high up that the crane operator could not fully see the area directly beneath him. Hence, an innovation was seen to be needed, especially on the aspect of sight when operating the crane.
The problem identified involving crane is to do with the limited size of the crane operator due to the blind spot. An innovation of a camera and sensor-based crane is proposed as an effort to reduce the number of accidents involving cranes in the construction of high-rise buildings. So as you can see in the diagram provided in the slide, we are proposing to adopt a sensor and a camera underneath the operator cabin. Standard crane is added with sensor and camera underneath the crane operator carriage. This will actually increase the additional site for the operator who is operating the crane. The camera and sensor are linked to a control panel located in the control room for site supervisor to monitor remotely away from the crane area. This provides extra set of eyes not only for the operator but also for the supervisor who is observing through the control panel in the control room. The image is projected in real time wirelessly between the camera and sensor and the control panel in the control room. This is possible as the geographical distance between them is not too high. Having extra set of eyes help the crane operator to navigate safely and avoid any potential risk of danger that could provide harm to individuals or damage to plants, equipments and also the buildings. The supervisor and crane operator communicates during two-way radio as a medium for fast communications. Should the supervisor foresee any danger, they can immediately notify the crane operator to halt the activity before any danger progress. This will drastically increase the chance of the danger being stopped from happening and indirectly avoids any unwanted accidents. This is seen to help improve the site problems and can indirectly be successful in reducing the number of accidents related to cranes. To conclude, it is anticipated that these innovations will help increase in the monitoring and communications of crane operators with the construction site personnel and drastically will reduce the number of accidents involving cranes on construction sites. The simple steps to adopt this innovation results the crane usage more effective and at the same time enhance its safety parameter which make it marketable and feasible for construction players to implement on their construction projects. Thank you.